If you're looking for an easy way out to grind and play NBA 2K19, hit up my guy Sports Gaming above. He has stacked NBA 2K19 accounts that come with high overalls, max badges, and rep rewards, and more, man. So hit up my guy Sports Gaming above. Make sure you type in his name correctly. He is the most trusted and reliable uh, badge grinding and account service. So hit up my guy Sports Gaming on Twitter, man. Let's get into the video. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poor Boy, sending a poll. Don't stand for Poe. Back at y'all with another NBA 2K20 wish list, aka five things NBA 2K needs to add into NBA 2K20. And this is part three. If you haven't checked out part two or part one, I advise you to go check those out after you watch this or before you watch this. Come back to this video, go check out those after this video, and I really will appreciate it. And you will probably be thankful that you did yourself. Now let's jump right into part three. And the first thing I wanna talk about is 2K should add in a buddy system, a My Park buddy system. Now, when I say this buddy system, this buddy system should include, like, so say if I play with Tragic, I play with Beast Mode, I play with Diplify, and I play with Ty. The buddy system should um, indicate and keep up with how many games we played together, how many games we've won together, how many games we've lost together and then other things that they can add into it that i really haven't thought about yet but they really need to add in some type of buddy system that keeps track of like who we play with the most um who's the best people that we play with etc now we is going to have a little short discussion on the buddy system because i really haven't thought it out too much yet but you guys kind of get an idea what i'm saying buddy system would be a good thing to add into nba 2k20 when I come up with more in-depth ideas about the buddy system, I probably will do another video about it. But I just wanted to throw that in you guys' head for a little bit, give you guys something to think about and, and, and imagine having a buddy system in NBA 2K20. Now, let me know down in the comment section what other things you think should be added into the buddy system. Like I said, the buddy system should indicate how many games I've played with somebody, how many games I've lost and won with somebody, ETC. Now let's go on to the next thing that NBA 2K needs to add back into NBA 2K20, which is Rival Day. Now the only way they can add in Rival Day is if they give us affiliations. So we're gonna talk about Rival Day and then we're gonna jump in talking about affiliations. But Rival Day needs to come back. Rival Day added huge incentive to my part. Um, it, it, it really felt good to feel like you were competing for your affiliation and going to beat other affiliations. It brought us together as a community. Um, it, it even uh, gave us the ability to meet new players because you only were able to play with people from your affiliation. So if your friend wasn't from the same affiliation with you, he couldn't compete with you on Rival Day. So you would have to find somebody else from your affiliation to compete with you on Rival Day which gave you the chance to discover new people to play with if you competed in rival day and your friends weren't from that affiliation and like i just said which is one of probably the biggest things this community needs rival day brought us together it brought the community day it, not the community day but it brought the community day together in a positive way so i really feel like they should uh, bring back rival day and like i said in part one if they don't bring back park affiliations give us neighborhood affiliations and then let us have a rival day for our neighborhood affiliations so that's going to bring us into talking about park and neighborhood affiliations 2k has to bring back affiliations for nba 2k20 and then for future nba 2ks because that's just like one of the biggest aspects of my part that they took away from us and then affiliations and rival day like i said they go hand in hand affiliations brought the community together um, it gave us the chance to meet other players and new players to play with. The story, I'll tell you guys the story about how I met Beast Mode all the time. Me and Beast Mode met in Rivet. Beast Mode was a Rivet City Rough Rider. I was an old town flyer. But I met up with Beast Mode in Rivet City, you feel me? So if there was no Rivet City, yeah, I probably would have ran into Beast Mode again if there was no affiliations. But having affiliations made it better to like you know search through different parks for different players there was different and certain types of players and different affiliations you feel me they really need to add back affiliations like i said if they don't bring back parks and don't take away the road to 99 system and they keep neighborhoods give us neighborhood affiliations give us three different neighborhoods 
Give us two different neighborhoods. Give us two affiliations. At least give us an affiliation to choose from. You, like I said, you could just give us two affiliations. But there has to be some type of My Park neighborhood affiliations added back into NBA 2K20. Now, let's go on to the next thing we need to talk about that 2K really needs to bring back that I know a lot of you guys would agree with me on is immortalization rewards. In NBA 2K18, the immortalization reward was a star next to your name. It was the it was like the first wave, the first generation of verified logos. But instead of YouTube, Twitch, ETC, they gave every they gave what they did was they gave every celebrity a star and then they gave every immortalized legend a star. But there were only 20 immortalized legends on PlayStation for 2k18 so it was easier to give out 20 people a star versus 200 plus immortalized legends on 2k19 so 2k19 had way more immortalized legends than nba 2k18 did but they still need to bring back some type of immortalization reward a huge immortalization incentive i mean getting 2k for free and getting put on 2k tv that's cool and all but when they first brought us the option to get put on 2K TV, everybody thought everybody was going to get an interview. But instead, they just threw us all up there, bunched up with other people that that got the 2K TV reward. And a lot of people did not like that. You feel me? So they need to add in some real immortalization incentive because there was really no immortalization this reward this year on nba 2k19 you literally got nothing for hitting legend from 2k18 and coming on to 2k19 but if you hit legend and you got immortalized from 2k17 to 2k18 man that's probably going to be the best immortalization reward ever now what i do feel like they should do for 2k20 for immortalized players is give them like an immortalized logo it, even if it's not an immortalized logo give them an immortalized icon so you guys know how we have event icons from like Ruffles, Gold Rush, Top Dog, Top Crew. We got all those icons. They should give us an exclusive immortalization icon. Make the immortalized players feel special. Because on 2K19, they were non-existent. Um, they didn't get no love. No immortalized players got love. I was immortalized for 2K19, but I already knew they weren't going to give 200 people a star. Like on 2K18, they gave 20 people a star. So they need to bring some type of immortalization incentive back into NBA 2K20. And so let's go on to the next thing, which is exclusive rep rewards. Now, this is a big thing 2K needs to think about doing. I've said this in a recent video. Um, I honestly want to say I came up with this idea first, and then a lot of people tried to run off with it from me saying it. But they need to add exclusive rep rewards to each game mode. So you go to my park, there's rewards that you can only get in my park. You go to Pro-Am, there's only rewards you could get from playing Pro-Am. You go into Rec Center, there's only rewards you could get from playing Rec. You go into my career, there's only rewards you could get from playing my career. You go into my team, you get my team rewards that you could bring out to my park that you can only get in my team. They need to add exclusive rep rewards to give everybody everybody an incentive to play 2k if they did this people will be playing their game all day all the time all year it would never die out because after i get all the rep rewards that i get in my park i'll go play pro-am if there's some interesting rep rewards in pro-am that i want i'll go play pro-am if there's some good rep rewards in my team that i want i'll go play my team if there's some good rep rewards that I want and play now, I'll go play play now. My park is where we come to show off our players. My park is like a showcase. Even if there's people out there just standing around, there's people that come out there just to showcase their my player or showcase their icons to show off. So give us that ability to earn rep rewards in different game modes to where we could come to my park and show those things off. Like, ha ha, you got to go play my team to get this. Or ha ha, you got to go play Pro-Am to get this. Or ha ha, you can't get this because you're not good enough in my park. That's what they need to add into the game. Right now, all the rep rewards are just attached to overall. And nobody wants to grind overall through double bars, 
the road to 99 system my career and i get in park games to get these rep rewards so they need to add in rep rewards in different game modes so everybody is playing 2k at all times bro you know my buddy might be grinding in my team and he get a rep reward that i want i'm grinding in park and i get a rep reward that he wants and then we'd be like oh shit we we both want what what each other got you feel me so 2k needs to add in exclusive rep rewards they need to bring new rep rewards they need to expand their rep rewards and they're gonna have to expand their rep rewards if they do this idea that i'm explaining now exclusive rep rewards for each game mode y'all that would be so lit it's one of the best ideas to add into NBA 2K20, even if they don't take out like this, like this is the best thing that they can add it to NBA 2K20 without taking out the road to 99 system. It's adding in exclusive rep rewards for each game mode, bro. The, the, I'm telling y'all, this is probably the, this is probably the best idea 2K could do to change their game around for the community. So let me know how you guys feel about this list. Rival Day, bring it back, Rival Day. Bring it back park or neighborhood affiliations, immortalization rewards, a buddy system, and then exclusive rep rewards for each game mode, man. So I hope you guys appreciate the commentary and the ideas on this video. Like I said, this is part three of my NBA 2K20 wishlist, aka five things NBA 2K needs to add into NBA 2K20. And I hope you guys appreciate this video. I appreciate y'all love and support. 130k subs on the way 150k on the way 200k on the way let's turn it up don't forget to smash a like on this video don't forget to share the video tag ld tag mike you know what i'm saying tag your friends tag 2k devs and um let's have a discussion down in the comment section i appreciate y'all love and support y'all have a blessed day or night whenever you watch this video think about the ideas that i said you could come to twitter and talk about talk about them with me on twitter um, my Twitter is Poor Boy Online. I'll be waiting to hear from y'all, man. Y'all be easy. Stay blessed. I'm out. One.